This video explains how to easily edit video using VideoPad. When a clip is selected, it appears in the Clip Preview pane, where the clip length can be edited. To set the endpoint, or the point where you want the movie to start, either play the file or drag the red cursor to the point you want the file to start, then click the Start button to set the endpoint. Do the same thing to set the out point with the End button. In and out points can be set for either clips in a media bin or to clips on the sequence. The difference is that changing the in and out points for a clip on the sequence will not affect the in and out points of the original file in the media bin. Similarly, you can adjust the in and out point of a clip in a media bin and add only the selected portion to the sequence using the place button. If you already have other clips on your sequence, Use the drop-down list to select where you would like the clip added on the sequence. This method allows you to select multiple parts of one clip and add them to the sequence separately. When multiple clips are on the sequence, you can change their order by dragging and dropping them into new positions. While dragging, clips will snap to positions in between other clips, but you can also drop a clip in the middle of another clip, which will split in two and make room for the clip. You can also drag a clip to a new track. You can also split a clip and move the pieces around. To do this, select a clip on the sequence and place the red cursor at the split point by dragging the marker on the timeline above the tracks. Then, click the split icon under the sequence preview window to split the clip in two. Use the drop down list to select which tracks will be split. Now you can drag the sections around independently from each other or delete the selected section from the sequence. For more VideoPad tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.